மேம் ஹேமா மேம் கேக்குதுங்களா ஹேமா மேம் மேம் மைக் டவுன் அவுட் பண்ணி பேசுங்க மேம் டர்ன் அவுட் தான் இருக்கு மேம் ஓகேங்க மேம் ஓகேங்க மேம் உங்க வாய்ஸ் ஆடியபிளா இருக்கு நீங்க கேமரா மட்டும் இது மட்டும் ஆன் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வீட்டு ஆன் பண்ணிட்டோமா ஆ கேமரா ஆன் பண்ணிக்கோங்க மேம் ஆ விசிபிளா வச்சுக்கோங்க மேம் ஓகே டன் ஓகே மேம் மேம் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணிரலாமா மேம் நாங்க ஆ எல்லாமே ஆடியோபிளங்க மேம் சரி பிபிடி மட்டும் ஷேர் பண்ணிக்கறோங்க மேம் ஓகே மேம் ஆ Ma'am, shall we start the session, ma'am? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. I'm Deepa from Second Microbiology. Now let's begin this program with a prayer song to be led by Yal Nishri from First Microbiology. செந்திலும் பதிதனில் சூரனை முடித்திட வந்தவனே வடிவேளவனே எந்த நுழந்தனில் சூரனை போல் வரும் இடர்தனை நீக்கிடும் காவலனி திருப்பரங்குன்றத்தில் குன்சரியை மனம் கொண்டவனி அவன் மன்னவனி இருப்பதன் மனதினில் ஒரு முகமே அருள் சண்முகமே அது உன்முகமே பல முதிர் சோலையில் ஞானப்படம் என பழுத்தவனி என அழைப்பவனி அழைப்பினிலே வரும் அருளினிலே தமிழ் இனிப்பினிலே குடியிருப்பவனி வேல் முருகாவடி வேல் முருகாவடி வேல் முருகாவடி வேல் முருகா வேல் முருகாவடி வேல் முருகாவடி வேல் முருகாவடி வேல் முருகா Thank you, Yalni Sri. 
to give us the opening remark for this program may i call nandini mridula from first microbiology to deliver the welcome speech a wonderful morning to one and all present in the webinar on entrepreneurship opportunity of agricultural products organized by department of microbiology and the institutions of innovation council it's my privilege to welcome our late client dr k s rangasamy sir founder of ksr educational institution i like to welcome mr r srinivasan sir chairman of ksr educational institution in his absence here I would like to welcome our dynamic principal, Dr. Yam Kartikeyan sir of KSR College of Arts and Science for Women in his absence here. And I'm delighted to introduce our chief guest, Dr. D. Hemlata ma'am, Assistant Professor of Dip Department of Microbiology, JKK Natarajan College of Arts and Science, Kumarapalayam. Welcome you ma'am. And I would like to welcome our head of microbiology department, Dr. Yes, Vivekanandan sir, welcome you sir. And I would like to welcome our faculty members and all students who were present here. Finally, I welcome everyone to this beautiful session. Thank you, Nandini. To give us information about today's guest, I would like to invite Evangeline from First, B First BSc Microbiology. In this special occasion, I like to invite our chief guest, Dr. D. Hemalatana. Welcome you, ma'am. Her mission was to pursue research as her passion and to deliver her sincere effort in science and contribute for well-being of all life forms. She completed her degree in B.Sc. in Plant Bio and Biotech, M.Sc. in Genomics, and Ph.D. in Microbiology. And her work experience scientist from March 2014 to September 2015 in Evolvo Biotech, Private Limited, Chennai, India, MNC. Evolving Holding as a uh, RENAC, Switzerland, and her marriage qualification in GSIR Net Lectureship in Subject Life Science and GATE. Her doctoral research on bacterial diversity, analysis, and functional metagenomics of human oral microbiome. Master research on site saturation mutagenesis of amylase genes in bacillus amylolytic fascin and bacterial research on her herbal remedies for cardiac problems. Her publications on a simple medium for selective elimination of human DNA from oral mutagenome and other publications. She attended conference and presented a paper on Pune, Madurai, Punjab and Delhi. Her teaching experiences was winter school on microbial genome, typing held in December 2008 at School of Biological Science, and many experiences, etc. And in the practical classes in microbiology, molecular biology, gene cloning, in genomic science, in Madhuri Kamara Genome. Her technical skills was site direct mutagenesis, site saturation mutagenesis, directed evolution. Computer expertise, bioinformatics tools, biotechnological techniques, PCR and purification techniques, and many others. We welcoming you, ma'am. The session is yours. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Shall I join? Shall I start, ma'am? Thank you, Evangeline. Now, without further delay, we will turn the time over to speaker. Let us all welcome Dr. D. Hemalata, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, welcome to you, ma'am. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, dear. Uh, am I audible? Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, a warm welcome to one and all who are present here. And uh, thank you, at, the onset, at the onset, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Vivek Anandan for giving me this opportunity to give a guest lecture. I take this privilege. Uh, and uh, without any further delay, let's start with the presentation. So to start with, the topic of uh, today's presentation is agricultural entrepreneurship. Uh, to give an agenda, what are all the things which we are going to uh, take a look into? So first, we'll be seeing about the definitions, some key definitions to follow the presentation. So secondly, we'll be, next slide, please. Can you change the slide? 
can you switch on switch over to the next slide please ma'am can you change the slide please yes uh, previous one agenda previous slide previous slide please thank you so so in our presentation today we'll be seeing all these things so first we'll be looking into some of the definitions uh, to make the uh, talk little easier to understand the talk easier so second we'll see what are all the entrepreneur opportunities which are present in agriculture sector and third we'll be looking into the government initiatives and the support which is given to encourage the agricultural entrepreneurs and fourth point we'll be looking into the microbes what is the role of microbes and how can we use microorganisms to become an agricultural entrepreneur and finally we'll summarize and some key takeaways so these are all some of the few things which we are going to look into the presentation so first next slide please next slide can you switch over to the next slide yeah thank you so entrepreneur who is an entrepreneur what can make an entrepreneur successful so first uh, let us know who is an entrepreneur anybody who does a business to uh, a uh, profitable business entrepreneur is someone who makes a profitable business and he produces for the market he should be an innovator he should have the skill of innovation only then he can be successful an entrepreneur should be passionate about growing his business and also looking into new opportunities so entrepreneur is any businessman who is making a profitable business okay next coming to what is entrepreneurship what is the quality to become an entrepreneur so first thing is he should be capable of developing new ideas and attain success with them he should be innovative the idea which he has should be new creative and that is going to take us into a successful business so entrepreneurship has a quality of building new ideas and attain success with that the so third one is what is agricultural entrepreneurship uh, it is a combination of beneficial combination of agriculture and entrepreneurship in agri business so agriculture entrepreneurship is it is a combination of entrepreneurship in doing agri business so let's if it if we are clear with these definitions we can proceed with the next slide next slide please can you switch over to the next slide next slide please ma'am just a minute ma'am ma'am there is a network issue okay okay uh, is it okay now ma'am so there are five principles uh, to become a successful entrepreneur so number one is uh, we have to find a problem which we are going to find the solution an entrepreneur should find a problem key problem for which he is going to find a solution so with the the solution should be an innovative idea so this is the basic funda to become a successful entrepreneur so point number 1 we have to have an innovative idea and we should have a clear idea of how the innovative idea is going to work so if we have the clarity 
if an entrepreneur who's doing a who's going to do a business has an innovative idea he should know how the innovative idea is going to work this is the first point second thing is he should know whether the innovative idea will be interested by the users so whatever idea we are going to give that should be beneficial to the users whosoever is going to use the idea that person whether they are inter interested in using the ideas that we have to research and analyze so to have an working idea we should have a clear idea whether this idea will be interested will be used by the users who are going to be benefited by the users so this is the second key point third one is the innovation should be very simple user friendly whosoever is going to use it they should be able to use it without any problem it should be very simple it should not be complicated it should not be very um, hard to understand so only then the innovative idea can be uh, used or uh, brought into the market so second the third point is it should be simple and focused and uh, fifth point is it should be a small sector it should be a small sector it should be focused and it should be a limited market we should target a limited market this is the fourth point and the final point is whatever innovative idea we have it should lead the market we will start the project we will do an enterprise we will start an agriculture sector we'll have an we'll uh, start the business but we should lead the market only then it will become a profitable and successful business so the fifth point is it should aim at leading the market only then it can be successful uh next slide please next slide students are you able to follow me yeah ma'am just a minute ma'am okay right so coming to our uh, important section of the topic what are all the opportunities which are present in agricultural sectors there are many many opportunities there are very many sectors in which a person can become an entrepreneur first and foremost it is agri business so we can take contracts of lands and do farms that is one kind of entrepreneur opportunity we can use dairy products milk uh, milk kind of sectors we can choose we can uh, choose uh, retail and uh, direct marketing and uh, we can focus on organic production now the entire world is looking into organic food so all the currently available bio products agricultural products are totally toxicated by chemicals the use of uh, chemical fertilizers chemical uh, pesticides and all those things had uh, brought the market into organic production so that has a very very high scope in becoming an uh, opportunity for agricultural sector so organic production is one of the key area where entrepreneurship is required second thing is agri tech startups we can focus on technology solutions for agriculture so there are a lot of uh, technologies within uh, upcoming um, uh, booming field of artificial intelligence uh, we have lot of innovations coming up uh, we can predict forecast the weather conditions climatic conditions um, uh, what are all uh, the features which has to be taken into the technological aspects can be focused in order to start an agriculture so we can help the farmers we can start an enterprise where we can help the farmers or anybody who are in the agricultural sectors with technological informations we can give a service so entrepreneurship can not only be working in the field uh, selling the products it can also be technological solutions we can focus even on the technologies okay 
so the third point is vertical farming now uh, there is this is also a booming field where entrepreneur opportunities is really very high vertical farming is nothing but with a limited space uh, th there can be a small space where you can harvest or plant many many different types of plants and you can do farming with one hectare of land you can uh, make lot of profitable business using the technology of vertical farming uh, it is just a mimicking copy of the nature just like how a tree the structure of a tree is arranged like that we are going to uh, utilize the surface in a vertical manner so we'll be doing farmings uh, as layers first tier second tier third tier with an available small space even if there is a very small space we can make uh, we can make use of the space using vertical farming and we can have lot of productivity we can focus on food security with little space this is also a patented technology it is really booming up and it has an um opportunity entrepreneur opportunity is uh, important in this field also next comes the uh, farm to table enterprises so we can procure the um, harvest or whatever agri products and we can directly sell to the customers instead of mediators like um, uh, selling markets we can directly harvest the products from the farm and we can uh, sell it to the customers Uh, customers or consumers so that the price will be really very cheap and we can also make it into a profitable business and the final and foremost is agro processing ventures this is also a very important venture for an entrepreneurship so this is also a key point why it is processing any agricultural product and adding value to the agricultural product will create make a into a profitable business so for example if i have to give an example for agro processing venture just uh, can we take uh, the moringa leaves uh, 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 if you purchase moringa leaves for 100 rupees you will get some moringa leaves moringa leaves na enna the murunga keera simple words murunga keera so 10 rupees kudutha you will get moringa leaves but if you process it if you dry it and the proper conditions and if you are going to make it into a powder medicinally valued powder make it into a capsule and if you export it whatever you buy it for 100 rupees it can be uh, sold for 10000 rupees the margin the profitable margin for these value added products is really very high whatever uh, the low cost agricultural products you can get it you can value add it and then if you sell it it will go it is going to make a very very high profitable business and you can become a successful entrepreneur uh, so these are the five important sectors which has opportunity so if you students are going to become an entrepreneur in future these are the key things which you have to put it in your mind and i would suggest value adding and processing this is going to be a highly profitable business if you are becoming an entrepreneur just put this in mind next slide please can you can you move on to the next slide ma'am we have some network issue ma'am that's the delay in changing the slide ma'am no problem no problem i can do it okay so uh globally what is the scope of entrepreneur agricultural uh, agriculture entrepreneur entrepreneurship what is the scope so globally trade agriculture policy reforms national level changes all this are creating or it is reforming the ideas are changing and globally agricultural entrepreneurship is booming so agriculture products and processed foods it is making a high market so it was 28 uh, 28 billion dollars and now it is booming up to 38 billion worth dollars and also not only urban market is uh, is focusing even rural markets are participating in 
this globalization trade exports even from a village people are becoming entrepreneurs and they are marketing or represented uh, representing as an entrepreneur in global market even the people from villages are exporting uh, their products and making high margins so all these changes are coming because uh, we are getting lot of support from the government the government of india the prime minister and the universally the, all the governments are encouraging agricultural entrepreneurs they want to encourage agriculture and this is going to impact on the economy of india if lots and lots of people are becoming entrepreneur and becoming an uh, important people in agricultural sectors we as an whole nation are going to become successful it is going to reflect on our economy since india is a very diverse climatically diverse we are producing a lot of uh, agricultural products this when it is marketed globally we are going to become an key player global in global so that is why the government of india is uh, pushing us pushing the entrepreneurs giving financial support and many many uh, schemes and subsidized products subsidized schemes for encouraging agricultural entrepreneurships uh next slide please okay so coming to the next sector of these um, uh, agricultural entrepreneurship is towards health and wellness so this field is always always profitable health and wellness we, mankind has to sustain for that we have to remain healthy so the market is totally focusing on the products which is going to help give uh, which is going to give health and wellness to mankind so anybody like for just for example if we are going to invest some money we will be focusing on the products that is going to give us health so uh, any entrepreneurship which is going to be successful can concentrate on the products agricultural products that is concentrated towards health and wellness in the list first one is organic foods uh, chemical free fertilizer free organic foods are a uh, booming up in the market so organic food products marketing organic fruit food products is going to be a profitable business second thing is plant based supplements protein powders uh, anything that is going to be processed any uh, uh, products agricultural products that is value added and that is provided as as plant based supplements this is also uh, just an example which i gave was moringa leaf powder this is also an important thing and another plant based supplements are from uh, fruits grapes we are cultivating lot of grapes the shelf life of grapes is very less so whenever we harvest 50% uh, is exported uh, and 50% goes for waste because because we do not know the method of converting it value add value add to these products so from grapes there is a key ingredient called resveratrol this is a component which is present in grapes that is having a high market value many of the biotech companies are focusing on preparing this component which is easily available in grapes in genetically engineered yeast system so they are investing lot of money in creating or producing this compound in yeast but we easily get it from grapes so if we design a process to derive resveratrol from grapes that is going to become an important sector for entrepreneurship global market for this product it's going to be grows and grows but we do not have so many people educated people to jump into this field so this is a very 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 profitable field agricultural entrepreneurship is a very uh, profitable venture so um, next point is medicinal plants 
there is also a growing interest in uh, medicinal plants and products. Uh, allopathy is totally, though it is helping mankind, the long-term relief of many diseases is given by uh, Ayurveda, Siddha, and the side effects of them is very less, and they do not have many operative procedures. So many are focused on medicinal plants and the products derived. So this is also an important sector. Next is climate resistant agriculture. So there is, there is because of this global warming in summers, we do not have rain. Uh, in, uh, it is too much summer in, uh, during summer and it is too much uh, uh, rainfall. Whatever we expect, it is much more than that. There is a drastic change in the monsoon pattern. Because of that, our harvest and yield is getting damaged. So we can use climate resistant agriculture. We can focus on genetically modifying plants which are resistant to climatic changes. We can adapt to that systems. We can provide farmers seeds that are resistant to climates. So this is also an important venture. There are temperature tolerant plants, uh, plants that can grow in water scarcity. We can modify the plants in such a way that it can adapt to these conditions. But all these sectors are going to be very cause, a cause a very costly effect. So we have to invest a lot of money before getting a profit. So um, uh, another thing is water, man water management. Water is always a problem. So uh, drip irrigation, uh, tube irrigation, minimizing the water requirement is going to help the uh, agriculture sector. So people will be interested in all these sectors. So investing our time and money in such fields is going to help us. Next, sli next slide, please. Okay, so here are the few initiatives and support that is given by the government. So they are giving interest-free uh, uh, amount or funds to become an agricultural entrepreneur. Up to one crore, it is interest-free finance. We are not aware of what are all the schemes available to encourage agricultural entrepreneurship. And whatever approvals we have to claim from government in order to start an enterprise or business, they are giving a single window clearance. Without any problem, you can get through all these approvals. There is an 15 years of tax exemptions. So whenever you are making a profitable business, tax is going to be a problem. When you are an agricultural entrepreneur, you are given tax exemptions. Up to 15 years, you are permitted without tax. Whatever profit you can get, you can enjoy it. So there are a lot of incentives and many subsidies are given in the government sites. So all these things are done in order to promote agricultural entrepreneurships, in order to uh, increase a sustainable agriculture, in order to improve our global economy. All these supports are given by the government, but we users are not making use of it. So here I would like to insist that agricultural entrepreneurships are supported by governments. So many people have to come into this field. Next slide, please. Next slide. Thank you. So um, there is also Apex Purchase Organization budget provisions for agricultural investment, uh, capacity building, skill developing, whatever skills you require to become an entrepreneur. All these skills are given as given by the governments. There are a lot of training programs that are going, uh, which you can make use of to become an agricultural entrepreneur. So all these facilities are given in order to promote and also they are giving electricity, whatever uh, consumption of electricity, you don't have to pay fee, uh, money for it. So all these concessions are given from the government sites to promote agricultural entrepreneurships. Next slide, please. Okay, so uh, central government, state government, Government of Tamil Nadu, everybody, uh, there are a lot of organizations which helps in uh, building these um, agricultural entrepreneurs, dairy entrepreneurs, horticulture, 
marketing research information network and lot of uh, subsidies next slide please lot of subsidies are also given uh, like um, there are uh, pradhan mandri kaushal vikas yojana Th there is an uh, uh, a prime minister has created lot of schemes under which many benefits are given in this uh, schemes we can make use of this we can make use of the fundings which are given by these organizations and we can become a successful entrepreneur okay let's move into the next slide okay so it becomes very incomplete as a microbiologist we should bring in microorganisms so the role of we are going to see the key factor what is the role of microorganism in building agricultural entrepreneurship so these are the two sectors bio fertilizers and bio pesticides lots and lots of research is going in this field uh, so agricultural entrepreneurs can focus in these two sectors this is a very uh, booming field or it's going to help uh, entrepreneur to be successful so preparing bio fertilizers enterprises that is preparing bio fertilizers and bio pesticides are also profitable ventures next slide please okay so let's uh, see what a bio fertilizer means bio uh, fertilizer we all know that it is going to increase the nutrient value of the soil by increasing nitrogen phosphorus dissolved minerals all these things are done by chemical fertilizers but bio fertilizers all these job all these roles will be done by microorganisms so these bio fertilizers will have live microorganisms which will help in promoting growth of plants they will increase the supply of essential nutrients and uh, the representatives of these microbes will span through the entire microbial kingdom it can be bacteria it includes fungi protozoans uh, everything all the microorganisms are together going to contribute as a bio fertilizer so building a bio or developing a bio fertilizer to increase the fertility of the soil or enriching the soil promoting the plant growth all these things all the roles are done by microbes so this is an important area where agricultural entrepreneurship can be focused next slide please okay so what is the advantage of bio fertilizer over fertilizer fertilizer is just chemical additives whatever is required more concentration suppose if we require the nitrogen phosphorus potassium whatever required we are going to dump the soil with higher higher concentrations in every cycle of agricultural um, production so whenever we dump the soil with lot of chemical additives it is going to become a problem to the ecosystem it is go going to toxicate the soil not only soil it is going to toxicate the entire ecosystem soil is going to get contaminated air uh, water we are going to toxicate even human health so fertilizers are increasing soil fertility by chemical additives but it has a very very serious drawbacks of polluting the ecosystem and also toxicating the human health so bio fertilizers on the other hand we have bio fertilizers that are going to add nutrients in a very the soil it is not going to uh, it is not going to affect the ecosystem it is going to help mankind it is 
but it does all other function it fixes the ni atmospheric nitrogen it is going to solubilize phosphorus it is going to enrich the soil it will promote the growth of plants by forming a a symbiotic association with the plants it can be free living these bacteria especially azobacterium azospirillum rhizobium pseudomonas azobacter these are all some of the examples of microorganisms that are acting as biofertilizers doing all these uh, jobs without causing any damage to the ecosystem a perfect balance to the ecosystem is maintained in a very cost effective way and it is going to be sustainable that is a very key factor so once once you prepare the soil with this biofertilizer again you can with the crop rotation for the next yield or for the next next season you can again reuse these bio fertilizers and you you cannot you need not be scared that it is going to be toxic to the soil it is going to help uh the farmers so this is also an important venture where agricultural entrepreneur is required next slide please okay so there are many types of bio fertilizers where we make use of bacteria if a consortium of bacteria is there in the bio fertilizers these are they are called bacterial bio fertilizers if a consortium of fungal fungus is there then it is called fungal bio fertilizers if algae are present then it is called algal bio fertilizers sometimes a mixed population of everything is used or some uh, some derived substance from these microorganisms can also serve as bio fertilizers next slide please can we move on to the next slide yes so overall these are the advantages of a bio fertilizer they are eco friendly cost effective sustainable uh, and biodegradable safe these are the five key features which are driving all the entrepreneurs to focus on bio fertilizers so these are this is bio use of bio fertilizers is going to save mankind so lot of carcinogenic food products are available in the market we are really very scared even to eat the vegetables because of the residual fertilizers which are present so using bio fertilizers we can make organic foods that is going to a health, that is going to build a healthy nation so these are the key advantages which are going to help mankind and uh, which is going to make the agricultural entrepreneurship successful where there is a need there is going to be a profit if people are in need of an alternative to fertilizers chemical for fertilizers it is going to be bio fertilizer so people are going to buy this product and people who are in in this venture are going to make a big profit so it's it going to take little more time but this is going to be a permanent alternative and it is going to be a successful business next slide please okay next comes the bio pesticide so much of our crops are uh, 
and the yield goes down because of the phytopathogens many many diseases of plants and uh, many of the insects that is attacking the plants all these phytopathogens are going to impact on the yield of the food products or agricultural products so what we are going to do is we are going to target microorganisms as bio pesticides in order to in order to uh, replace chemical pesticides we have to fight against these pests pests that is damaging causing heavy loss to the agricultural products without causing any imbalance in the ecosystem so bio pesticide will be the best alternative there are three different types of bio pesticides one is biochemical pesticides microbial pe pesticides and plant incorporated protectants so biochemical pesticides will be these are naturally driven formulations that are going to act as bio control against various pests or various uh, diseases of plants micro pest microbial pesticides will be microorganisms being used as pest control so if there is any pest like suppose for example there is an insect which is harming the plant and it is causing a damage to the plant so we are going to use a microorganism that is going to cause a disease in those pest so that the plants are relieved from this pest so this is a kind of microbial pesticide so this is not going to create a toxin in the ecosystem so creating a microbial pesticide is another alternative third thing is plant incorporated protectants that is you can incorporate any kind of gene you can genetically modify the plants against certain pests say for example there is a fungi which is attacking a plant so you can in incorporate a gene anti fungal gene which will produce an anti uh, fun fungi compound in the plant system itself so that the fungi cannot attack the plant so these are plant incorporated protectants there are the these many different types of bio pesticides available in the market and the third one when i talk about this is going to be a very costly affair lot of money is going to be invested in creating a genetically modified plant so um, if a successful entrepreneurship is done it should be having a cost effective it should be very cost cost effective and the amount of money which is going to be spent should be less only then the cost of the product will be less and it can be bought by the consumers so having all these things in mind bio pesticides microbial pesticides these are going to be the cheaper alternative so when it is an agricultural entrepreneur entrepreneurs when you are targeting this you can go for the first two types biochemical pesticides and microbial pesticides and there is a lot of issue with the gm modified dub you have to get license and all those things are there so first two are going to be a profitable venture next slide please so again this is an uh, repetition what are all the different types microorganism used as bio pesticide chemicals into uh, entomopathogens i already explained to you plant incorporate protectants these are the different types of bio pesticide next slide please okay so uh, what are all the organisms which are being used as microbial pesticides bacillus bacillus thuringiensis have you heard about this strain this was a bacteria which is uh, which uh, which was uh, used in bt cotton pseudomonas this is again an important organism this is a, a strain which is helping plants for growth promoting growth also and it also acts as a a uh, bio control agent also agrobacterium streptomyces these are some of the bacteria which are going to act as bio pesticide and also it is going to help in increasing the nutritive value of the soil so there are fun fungi which is uh, used as bio pesticide there are lot of herbicides also microorganisms used to prevent herbs and uh, bio insecticides lot of insect pests also can be controlled by 
bacteria. Bacillus is a bacteria which can be used as a bio insecticide. Next slide, please. So there is an ever growing demand for bio pesticide because chemicals, the usage of chemicals have totally uh, spoiled our ecosystem. Lot high residual uh, contamination in air, water, entire ecosystem, global warming. There are a lot of impact because of these chemicals. Um, hazards which is caused by uh, caused by these chemicals to human. We are ending up with lot of cancers. We are ending up with lot of uh, problems with kids having uh, autism kind of behavior. All these chemicals act and they have large impact of humans. So biopesticide will be the future agro entrepreneurship area. So focusing on this area is going to be remarkably profitable. So let's move on to the next slide, please. So these are the few advantages of biopesticide. Uh, specifically, you can target for a particular pest. Uh, and it has a low toxic effect. It is eco-friendly, efficient, sustainability. So it is going to sustain in the environment without causing any damage. And the last point, it is going to be safe for mankind. This is a very, very important factor. If it is safe, people are going to be interested in this area, the products are going to be sold and it is going to be an important commercial venture. So health, wellness is going to be the global market in future. So this is an biopesticide is an important venture in agricultural entrepreneurship. Next slide, please. Next slide. Okay, so let's conclude this. Um, uh, the use of bio pesticide is vital to safeguard the food security with the ever growing population. So the population is ever growing. So we need lot of demand for food is increasing. Uh, and uh, globally, many of the agricultural products cannot be cultivated. So as being a very diverse uh, India being a climatically diverse and we have a rich um, flora and fauna. So all these agricultural products, when we are going to present in global market, it is going to be very helpful. So uh, finding an, uh, an, a remedy for pesticides is going to improve food security and it is going to increase global economy. And uh, biopesticide made from microorganism has to become uh, has to be made feasible and a profitable al alternative. Environmental and health benefits has to be priority to replace synthetic agrochemicals with biopesticide. So, in uh, uh, protecting nature and protecting our health, these are going to be a money making business in the future. So, uh, so far we have uh, been marketed with the products that is going to be that is going to spoil our health. So in future, it will be the reverse of it. Whatever is coming with a health benefit, which is going to protect the ecosystem, that is going to be booming. The venture will be prospering. So uh, selecting a field or an agriculture sector, which is going to be health oriented, environmental oriented, which has health benefit is going to be a profitable business. Next slide, please. So this is our last slide. So to summarize, agricultural entrepreneurship has the highest future scope with the maximum benefit, um, monetary benefits. 
worth investing time and money in it so the future is definitely going to target on agricultural entrepreneurship the government is supporting and uh, the entire uh, mankind is going to look into health and wellness products and uh, so in, uh, in starting an agricultural entrepreneurship is worth investing time and money in order to become a innovator in order to become a profitable businessman and a successful agricultural entrepreneurship uh, innovation will also undoubtedly lead to success one key idea one key idea is going to make you a billionaire so entrepreneurship with innovation is definitely will lead you to success and finally entrepreneurship with only money making motive only with the thought of making money will definitely not be successful only when you protect the ecosystem and if you are going to uh, target health if you include this factor health factor in your products or in your business only then it is going to be a long term successful entrepreneurship so having all these things in mind if you select a venture you can become a successful agricultural entrepreneurship thank you thank you all for your patient listening thank you students thank you dr hemlata ma'am that's so informative i'm sure our students learned a lot from you at this time we will go ahead and take some time for questions now yes questions please i'll be happy to answer good afternoon ma'am good afternoon ma'am ma'am ma i have one uh, queries ma'am ma'am you said uh, using uh, grape fruits ma'am grapes are genetically modified for yeast products in many biotech companies ma'am yeah so what are, what kind of the products uh, were the motto ma'am for the companies Uh, actually there is a company there are many biotech companies which are targeting uh, agricultural products not for uh, consumption they are going to bulk harvest all these products they are finding key components or key uh, uh, chemical components in it for example in grapes there is a component called resveratrol it has lot of medical use uh it has lot of uh, industrial use there are many many uh, applications for this what they do is they uh try to take the entire uh genes from the grapes and they are putting it into the yeast system and they are producing that component in the laboratory instead of uh, harvesting growing grapes in instead of growing uh, grapes in the fields what they are doing is they are producing the special component alone in the lab they are genetically modifying yeast to produce what is being produced in the grapes and they are selling it as a commercial product so this uh this helps the company to make lot of profit and this does not come with a little money you have to put in lot and lot of money to become to uh, first of all to genetically modify yeast you have to put in lot of money so this is going to be a very costly aspect but if you are going to take it from grapes it is going to be a profitable venture did i answer your question did you get the point yes ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am yes good afternoon ma'am good afternoon can can you mention any product from bio pesticides or bio fertilizer uh, there is a, a product called uh, nigrin uh, it is a bio pesticide it is uh, commercially used nowadays nigrin you can uh, search in uh, net uh, this is a widely used uh, bio pesticide nigrin commercially it is available
Any other questions? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Any more questions? No, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Ma thank can you. we switch on our videos to take a sh screenshot, ma'am? Sure, sure, sure. Thank you, ma'am. Again, let's give a hand to Dr. Hemlata, ma'am, for today's topic. To give us our wrap up for today's webinar, let's invite Navina from First Microbiology to deliver the vote of thanks. Good morning to everyone. I feel it's my privilege and a great pleasure to express my sincere and heartfelt thanks to late line Dr. K. S. Rangaswamy, sir, founder of K. S. R. Educational Institutions. Mr. R. Uh, Srinivasan, sir, chairman of K. S. R. Educational Institution. I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to our dynamic principal, Dr. M. Karthikeyan, sir, of KSR College of Arts and Science for Women for giving a great opportunity and support to conduct the webinar on entrepreneurship opportunity of agricultural products. Thank you, sir. I would like to extend our gratitude to Dr. S. Vivekanandan, sir, head of the department, for his encouragement. Thank you, sir. Next, I would like to thank our chief guest, Dr. D. Hemalatha, ma'am, who accepted our invitation and gave you valuable thoughts and ideas. Thank you, ma'am. I own my heartiest thanks to all faculty members of microbiology department. Last but not least, my heartful thank to our students for their cooperation. Thank you all. Thank you, Navina. I would like to thank everyone. Now I can leave the meeting. Thank you, ma'am.